So today I'm going to give you a little performance demonstration of the Lumia 640, the one I got for I think about 40 bucks on the Microsoft Store. Running the latest um, build of the Insider preview for Windows 10. So let's go ahead and turn it on here. And you can watch the initial boot up stage, see how fast it starts. This is a really amazing phone for uh, 40 bucks. It's got a quad core, it's got a gig of RAM. It seems to have decent graphics because I played some Asphalt 8 and that played considerably well considering. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fast. And it's got a five inch screen. So there we go. Uh, let's see if I can kind of dumb the uh, screen brightness down. Let's see if that's very intuitive because I haven't done that yet. Um, nope, it's not on the home screen, so we're going to go to all settings. And we're just going to do system display and see if we can kind of dumb the light down a little bit. Here we go. That's text and size. Oh, shoot. Okay, automatically adjust brightness. Brightness level. Let's just do low. Okay, so let's start off with just opening up the internet. Let's go ahead and load. I've already been there before, but I'll just do www.neowin.net. Yep, pretty snappy. We're going to go home. Now we're going to go ahead and open up. I'll just do the phone app here. Oops, let's do it again. We'll do the dial pad. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and open up Cortana. Now I've noticed that the first time you open it up, it takes just a second for it to start recognizing the voice, but once you go back into it at any other time, it's pretty smooth. Let's go ahead and open up Cortana. So here it says ask me anything and it takes just a second. What's the temperature outside? It's currently 11 and sunny. Okay. And so now we're going to go ahead and go back out of it. And let's go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store. Actually, let's go into email first. That's the, uh, that's the email. We can say create a new message. Let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Word, which is right here. And we'll go ahead and say new. We'll make a list. It's downloading the, uh, the thing off the internet, I think. Okay, let's go into Excel. Let's see, it's right here. And we're gonna do a new Excel with a Case. So that's that. So what else we got here? Let's go ahead and open up the weather. As you can notice, there's not a lot of loading like there used to be with Windows 10 um, phone operating system. It's actually really good. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. We have Temper Run. That ran, ran pretty good. Camera. It's decent, or it's not that great. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Maps. Okay. And now we're going to do the Ariel and not the mermaid. <laughs> Get it? Okay, so we're going to go here, zoom in. Okay, all that's pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store. Well, let's do news first. Hey, the Donald. Let's see what he's up to. Way back, 
let's just go back here again. Okay, now let's go ahead and what's in here? Let's just go ahead and open up the calculator, which I hope should open up pretty fast. There we go. Well, I would show you Facebook Messenger and Facebook, but they have my contacts on there, so I'm not going to show you that. Uh, what else we got? We got money, probably some for stocks. That's taking a bit of time to load, if at all. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll do breaking news alerts. Now, let's go back to Cortana again, and we'll ask it. How far is it to Rums in Iowa? Oops. I didn't quite. How far is it to Rums in Iowa? It'll take 20 minutes to drive to Renson. Yeah, about 15. It's about but 11 miles away. It's not bad. How old was Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein was 76 years old at the age of death. Oh, he would be. Pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you some gameplay footage from Asphalt 8. You can kind of get a sense on how fast this loads. Let's go ahead and turn it sideways. Now keep in mind this phone's about 40 bucks. It was 28 over the um, Black Friday or 23 dollars. I really think Microsoft needs to be putting this phone in every buddy's hand they possibly can to get everybody on the Windows platform, Windows phone platform, and then from there maybe there'll come some apps and then they can start pushing flagships because right now I would not spend 500, 600 bucks for a Windows phone, but I would spend 40 bucks. And if this is on Verizon, which it's not, it's for AT&T, I would, if I had to, I'd use this as a, as a daily driver backup phone. Okay, we're going to go hit play now. And, uh, oh come on, there we go. Let's go back one more. Uh, oops, there we go. Let's load this one. It's a fairly intensive game, and I'm really surprised how well it's definitely playable. I'm no good at the game. Drift. Ooh, there we go. Nitrous. And drift. Oh, shoot. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and go back to the, let that, suspend that in memory. There we go. Let's go ahead and start closing some maps and see how fast those swipe shut. We're going to go ahead and long press on the back button. And we're just going to close it, close it, close it. Okay, we're going to leave these open. And we're going to go back to the internet. Okay. I'm really impressed. This phone... They have a gym here. They should be pushing this on everybody. For free or not, just get it in the hands of people. So anyway, this has been your performance demonstration with the latest Insider build of Windows 10 on the Lumia 640. Thanks for watching.